what are transaction processing concept what is transaction what are the properties of transaction and in brief we are going to discuss about acid properties hello everyone this is sukanya from go edu hub technologies and we are going to discuss about transaction processing concept and if there arise any conflict then how to resolve them in this particular video so transaction a transaction is a unit of program execution that assess and possibly modify various data objects such as tuples and relation a transaction may be said a logical unit of work in database processing that includes one or more database assess operation a transaction can be defined as a action or series of action that are carried out by single user or application program for example if we see a transaction over here Suppose an employer bank transfer rupees three hundred from account X to Y. The small transaction contains several low-level tasks. Now, what are those low-level tasks? For example, in X account, what are the changes made? X account is firstly open. The old balance is stored in a variable X dot balance. Then the new balance is old balance minus three hundred. Then the X balance is the new balance which is stored, and then that account is closed. similarly the y account it is opened from the old balance a variable is made y dot balance new balance variable is having the old balance of this particular account plus the 300 rupees which has been deducted from x account and then transferred to the y's account and then the y dot balance is having the new balance which is the old balance plus the sum of 300 rupees and then we have closed this account so several transaction are made during a process and group of tasks which may be low level or high level are executed during a particular transaction to maintain all the transactions smooth going there are several properties which we have discussion short from the beginning that is acid property acid is an acronym for the word atomicity consistency isolation and durability from taking the first alphabet it sums up to acid properties of transaction or transaction control language now atomicity means a transaction is an atomic unit of processing that means either it will be executed as entirely or even not at all that means you cannot leave the transaction in the middle either it has to be executed in a complete sum or either it has not been executed at all similarly the next property is consistency a successful execution of transaction must take a consistent database state to the new consistent database state but during the state change of the database no other transaction must be affected so that is consistency of the database if the database was in a consistent state before the transaction then it may remain in the transaction consistent state after the execution of transaction 2 the next property is isolation isolation means a transaction must not take the modification visible to the other transaction until it is committed that is each transaction is unaware of other transaction executing concurrently in the system for example in the above example we have seen that x and y are having several changes of sum of amount 300 but other transaction or other bank account if similar transactions are going on that those changes should not be reflected or modified to them a system must be isolated for concurrently assess of transaction and the user next is durability which is a most important aspect and the property of transaction that is once the transaction is committed it changes these must never lose due to the subsequent system failure that is the chunk of data may not lose or the transaction whatever being completed if committed then it should not be lost there could be several problems such as disk failure system crashing server crashing but whenever the latest update has been installed and the system again starts then it should start from the particular point where it has been committed so the changes must not be lost due to the subsequent sequent failures and those system failures should be neglected that is in comes under durability of any transaction now there are states of transaction transaction occurs in several states and then it gets completed now what are those state the very first state is from the start there is active state an active state in this diagram is a transaction enter into active state when the execution process begins during this state read or write operations can be performed in an active state next is either it is partially committed that means after the it goes into the partial committed state after the end of a particular transaction if it is committed state when the transaction is committed it means it has completed its execution all the changes updated all been made 
मोर ओवर ऑल द चेंजेस आर रिकॉर्डेड इन द डेटा बेस परमानेंटली एज वी हिट द ए कमिट कमांड इन योर एस क्यूएल कमांड लाइन वॉट हैपन्स यू गेट एग्जिट फ्रॉम द एस क्यूएल कमांड लाइन दैट मीन्स ऑल द चेंजेस हैव बीन सेव्ड एंड द यूजर इज डन विद इट्स वर्क एंड इट कंप्लीटली गेट्स रिकॉर्डेड इन टू द डेटा बेस परमानेंटली सो दैट इज द कमिटेड स्टेट ऑफ अ ट्रांजेक्शन नेक्स्ट स्टेट इज अ फेल्ड स्टेट वॉट इफ अ ट्रांजेक्शन इज फेल्ड अ ट्रांजेक्शन इज कंसिडर टू बी फेल्ड इफ वन ऑफ द चेक्स फेल और इट गेट्स अबॉटेड वाइल इट इज इन द एक्टिव स्टेट इफ देर इज एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ डिस्क्रिपेंसी इन डेटा और सम काइंड ऑफ ट्रांजेक्शन फेलियर देन ट्रांजेक्शन गेट्स फेल्ड द टर्मिनेटेड स्टेट इज वेयर द सर्टन ट्रांजेक्शन विच आर लिविंग द सिस्टम कांट बी रिस्टार्टेड दैट पर्टिकुलर स्टेट इज द टर्मिनेटेड स्टेट एंड देन द ट्रांजेक्शन गेट एंड now we have something to do with transaction mode that is a schedule a series of operation from one transaction to the other transaction is known as a schedule after executing one by one from one transaction to the other there may be a serial so that particular serial or that particular order is known as a schedule this is used to preserve the order of the operation the order must be preserved for a individual or a separate transaction there are three types of schedule which are serial non serial and serializable one by one we're going to study about it serial schedule is the serial schedule is a type of schedule where one transaction is executed completely before starting the another that means one after the other the process is going when t1 transaction is been executing then t2 has to wait for some time so t1 gets completed and then t2 gets the beginning of it that is a serial schedule the non serial schedule is in an interleaving operation is allowed there can be non serial schedule it contains many possible order n number of orders in which system can execute the individual operations individual operations can be executed in the figure which is mentioned here you can see that c and d are non serial which are not related to each other so they can be executed in any particular order or it is having any interleaving operation now what is serializable schedule the serializability of schedule is used for non serial schedules it's not for serial it's for non serial how to make them in a particular order so that allow the transaction to execute concurrently without interfering with one another it identifies which schedule is correct and in what order a transaction must be made or what order the interleaving operations can be done so there is a particular schedule of a b c and d of transactions t1 and t2 with respect to time here schedule a and schedule b are serial schedule they are executing in a particular order if read of an account a for example is done and then some sort of amount is deducted then we have written in that a again we read a b account so these both are serial whereas c and d are non serial in which simultaneously every operation is been carried out and read and write operations are done now there are several recoverable schedules also for example if a schedule a transaction performs a dirty read operation for an uncommitted transaction and its commit operation is delayed that means it is an uncommitted in a transaction form either it has to perform commit or roll back then such is known as a recoverable schedule where recovery possibility of recovery can be made for example in a transaction 1 read operation is going on then write operation is going on similarly in transaction 2 there is a read operation been executed in the middle of writing operation of transaction 1 then that is a dirty read so either you have to make it commit so this transaction t2 is getting delayed so this is a recoverable schedule next is testing of serializability how can we test for example if we create a node ti and tj if ty if ti executes write before tj executes read so the precedence is made here that which has to be given the precedence if a precedence graph contains a single edge of transaction i and transaction j then all the instructions of ti are executed before the first instruction of tj if a precedence graph for a schedule s contains a cycle a particular cycle is there then s is non serializable because there should not be any cycle if there is a cycle then it is a non serializable schedule now serializability is also of two types we have much talked about serializability there might arise a conflict that what is serializability and how it is done how can we really view that particular thing so there are two types of serializability the very first is conflict serializability and the next is view serializability conflict serializability schedule is if after swapping two non conflicting operations 
it can transform into a serial schedule what we are making is we are making every schedule a serial one so that transaction can be performed smoothly without any disturbance the schedule will be non conflict serializable if it is conflict equivalent to a serial schedule now what are the conflict operations here the term is being used non conflicting and conflicting conflict operation if two operations coming conflicting if all conditions satisfy they both belong to separate transaction but they have the same data item and there must be one write operation to be done all the conflict arises when we are writing a particular operation not reading because reading can be done in any other systems also but while you are writing you are doing update and at the same time someone else is reading there arises the conflict for example swapping is possible for only if s1 and s2 are logically equal so what is done here t1 is read similarly t2 is read so s1 is equals to s2 here read is going on similarly read is going in this transaction too so read there is no issue there are non conflict but when there is read is going on and then write is going on on transaction 2 so read is going on again which is swapped on transaction 1 and write is going on a before it is written that means s1 is not equals to s2 serializability is not equal which means the schedule is not equal and hence there is a conflict while reading you cannot write otherwise the updates will not be seen to the other user of the transaction what is conflict equivalent in the conflict equivalent one can be transformed to another by swapping one non conflict operations in this example s2 is conflict equivalent of s1 so s1 can be converted into s2 by swapping the non conflicting operation they contain the same set of transaction transaction set has to be same that is t1 and t2 or else any other but has to be same and each pair of conflicts are being same ordered way the ordered way must be same of both the schedule so that the swapping can be done so how it can be done and non serializable while reading of a is done then you have write then you are reading b so here in transaction 2 a can be written and as well as read it then when this write is complete and executed this has been committed then only transaction 2 is reading and writing so we can say then s1 is conflict serializable we have swapped the non conflicting operation so this is what is conflict serializability the second part of serializability which we will look forward is view serializability so the second part of the tutorial which we could refer in the website is view serializability view is the actual schedule if the view equal to the serial schedule that means no overlapping of transaction should occur two schedules s1 and s2 are said to be view equal if the conditions are satisfied what are those initial read if a transaction t1 reading a data item a from initial database in s1 then in s2 also t1 should be read a from the initial database that is initial read condition should be satisfied transaction 2 is reading a which is its initial database a it is reading over here so it is its initial database next is updated read if transaction i is reading a which is updated by transaction d in s1 then in s2 also transaction i should read a which is updated by transaction j that means updated read should be done it should not be done what is having in the previous read so the above two schedules are not view equal why because there is no read particularly and reading is a is updated by t2 here and similarly in s2 transaction the transaction 3 is reading which is updated by t1 so hence it is not view equal and the final is the write operation if a transaction t1 updated a last in s1 in one serializability then in s2 also t1 should perform the final write operation here both are doing final write operation but which is not true because it's not in the transaction 2 it's only in the one so the above two schedules are not view as final write operation in s1 is done by t1 while in s1 it is done by t2 so hence this is not done here you can see final write is done here by s1 t1 and it is done by t2 transaction so it is not done now transaction recoverability how can we recover a particular transaction some transaction are recoverable and some are irrecoverable so first of all the transaction recoverability may execute not completely which is due to any software issue a system crash which we have studied in durability or any hardware failure for that what we need to do is we have to use some certain amount of save points where rollback could be done 
where undo can be done so that it can restore us to the last commit it can restore us to the last commit value and this type of schedule is known as irrecoverable schedule those cannot be recovered the schedule will be irrecoverable irrecover if transaction j reads the updated value of ti and tj committed before the other commit similarly you can see that recoverable with cascading rollback cascading rollback is similarly rollbacking to the previous save point or the commit the schedule can be recoverable with cascading rollback if transaction j reads the updated value of transaction i and commit of transaction j is delayed until the commit is done of transaction i that means there has to be certain amount of wait so those transaction set of transaction 1 reads and write a and then commits and similarly for written by transaction 2 so this is a cascade which is less recoverable schedule for this example examples are all mentioned in the tutorials you can look for that in this complete video we have seen about transaction processing concept what are the properties of transaction and then what is the serializability what is conflict serializability and what is view serializability what are the read and write operation for next tutorial video we are look, going to look forward to other videos thank you